if you are driving on the road, there's a possibility that you will hit an animal. Uh, you can analyze this situation from the point of view of either the driver, the people in the car, from the point of view of the car, or from the point of view of the animal being hit. We're going to think about it from our point of view because we're biased. Uh, okay. Uh, so if it's possible for animals to get on the road, there's a vulnerability there. Uh, there's a threat of a possible collision with an animal if it's on the road and you're driving there. Um, generally, when animals cross the road, they are not doing it maliciously. Hardly, hardly ever happens that you hit an animal on the road where the animal was after you maliciously. I'm not going to rule that out entirely. Uh, so here we are, are saying we we are saying that there's an attack, but it's not necessarily in this case by a malicious intruder. Uh, Okay, control. There are various controls that people have come up with just for a, well, actually. I'll come back to controls. I meant to have it here, but I don't have it here. Um, we want to assess the risk of, okay, what's the risk of colliding with an animal on the road? Now, for the animal, the obvious risk is that it will end up as roadkill. Uh, so that's the damage to the animal. Uh, it might manage to get across. It might suffer only minor damage. Uh, but if you're going to assess the risk, you need to know what's the possible damage that could happen and what's the risk? How likely is it? So, so the risk involves both this probability of collision and the uh, potential damage. Probability of uh, collision depends on the species of animal, the location, the time, and the date. You're much more likely to collide with some animals than others. To use three examples, moose. Moose are very large. Um, if you hit one, there's a really high likelihood of serious damage to you and your car. Uh, some possibility of damage to the moose, but we're analyzing this from the human perspective. Okay, if you're driving around South Carolina, pretty much you don't need to worry about these guys. They don't live in South Carolina. You know, unless one gets loose from a zoo or something like that, uh, you can pretty much <coughs> ignore the possibility of colliding with moose. You cannot, however, ignore the possibility of colliding with a deer or a frog, of which there are you know, fair numbers in South Carolina. Okay, deers are smaller than, than moose, and so the potential for damage is less than with moose, um, but it still could be pretty substantial. And there's high probability in South Carolina. Okay, there's also a high probability of hitting a frog on the road in South Carolina, but there's little or no possibility of damage to the car or occupants. Okay, so what do you want to defend yourself against if you're driving around in South Carolina? Pretty obvious. The deer. Uh, you don't need to defend yourself against the moose because they aren't here. You don't need to defend, to defend yourself against the frogs uh, because there's almost no possibility of damage. Uh, where you have reasonable possibility of damage and reasonable possibility of occurrence, then you have risk that you need to worry about. Mention a few possible controls for deer. You need to know something about deer. Uh, Defensive driving. Well, that's always good. Uh, knowledge of deer behavior. Deer tend to move around in groups. So if you see one deer crossing the road, there's a good prob probability that its buddies will also be crossing the road if they haven't already. Also, they are most active at dawn and dusk. So that's when you need to be more, most careful watching for them. Um, 
You can put up deer crossing signs, or actually the highway department can. People can put up fences. Uh, you can put up diversionary feeding areas and hope to attract the deers there. Um, you can hunt them. Uh, you can attempt to have whistles and other noisemakers that, that go off when the deer crosses the road. Some places have even attempted to use deer-activated flashing lights. I was once in a car that was hit by a deer. And I say, hit, the car was hit by the deer because uh, my husband was driving, he saw the car, he saw the deer, he stopped the car, the deer just continued on its merry way and ran into the, into the vehicle and scratched it. But no damage to us or to the deer, it was a little shaken up. I know folks who will not drive at, in Fairfield County at night because there's so many deer. Okay, uh, enough wildlife management. Uh, back to uh, computer security. Where do threats come from? 